This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. so nice uh, they named it uh, three times I don't know how hey how are you good to see you uh, it's um, it's uh, 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 Wednesday okay here we are here we go and uh, every other Wednesday we put this guy on hold on a second let me just admit him and get him on here and get the uh, zoom panel going here and uh, there what is that picture you got there? Where did you get that? Uh, that's uh, uh, the AI uh, Trump arrest. The AI Trump arrest, I see. Okay. Yeah, some, somebody uh, here, let me move out of the way here. So uh, this is uh, the police taking Trump into custody. You couldn't wait like 10 minutes to get into this, right? Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'll wait, but I brought, I brought help. Oh, okay. All right, fine. <laughs> actually, he wants that to happen. He wants yeah, to, I wants to actually be hauled away in cuffs, he says, and he's going to have a professional film crew there videotaping it. He he's collected a million and a half. I'll get that off. Uh, he's collected a million and a half so far uh, since he's announced that he was going to be arrested. Well, you know something? That's really a bunch of stupid people because what they're doing is they're giving money to a supposed billionaire. Yeah, yeah, no. I what know. is that? What is that? Well, Tony's been calling me on a regular basis. Every morning, he's talking to me like uh, I, I, he's talking about your friend Shecky and how he's uh, you know uh, grieving, and so uh, and he's always going to the graveyard to visit his parents. So I called him now Tony the Undertaker Magno. And, you know, we've given him a nickname. Hmm. He's the Undertaker. But you, do you notice that his parents, both his mother and his father, have the name on the gravestone? Of course. Yeah. yeah. You, you always leave a space for the, uh, for the, uh, the wife or the husband, oh. whoever, you know. Does that mean that you can't uh, use? Well, yours unfortunately, to... my my uh, my uh, mother wasn't uh, thoughtful enough to say, "Hey, let's build a tombstone where there's space for my name." I guess she didn't oh. figure she was ever going to die, so you know she didn't put it so on. So it's there. her fault. So it's one little tombstone that's on my father's grave, and then she was expecting me, I guess, to put a tombstone on her grave. But normally the tradition is, is that you put a tombstone on both, you know, one tombstone to cover both graves. So, right. Yeah. And then if I wanted to be buried there, they kind of wedge me in sideways between them, you know. Well, my, my dad's uh, grave site, they only allow like a plaque that's flat on the ground. What, was it a military uh, site or something? Uh, no. Hmm. Hmm. Well, some, I guess some... Tomb, uh, tombstones, uh, some cemeteries require that, okay? Yeah. Because they don't want anybody. Some, you know, I went out to one uh, when my friend uh, uh, Jack Garfine got buried. Mm -hmm. It was out in a cemetery where there were Russians buried as well. And they have these huge tombstones with the photographs of the people on them. You know why? You know, etched or drawn into the stone. You know why? Why? Well, their names are so long, they need those big uh, mausoleums just <laughs> yeah. to fit them. <laughs> I guess. I guess. But no, I was, and they're tasteless. They're really tasteless. Uh, you know, I would never, yeah. you know. Well, I'm, I'm well, wondering, I, I really should get around to putting a tombstone on my mother's grave. But, you know, I've talked to a lot of people who say they never got around to putting tombstones on their parents' graves. Yeah. You know. 
Because, you know, when she died, I didn't feel sad. She was 100 years old. Yeah. Am I, am I so you sorry? have the do you have the site next to her or no uh, no, 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 you, no you haven't prepared no, no. for it. Marjorie's Marjorie's planning on having me cremated whether I want to or not. I now people tell me the Jews aren't supposed to be cremated, but I, I never heard uh, that one. Uh, yeah, I, I, well, maybe it was from uh, Orthodox that that told me that. Well, but, I would uh, I would think Orthodox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I want to be cremated. Uh, you know. Uh, I, I visited my father's grave once, and uh, he's been dead since 72. <laughs> yeah, I've, I, I've gone to my father's grave maybe twice. Once yeah. because my mother was buried there, you know. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You know, you never, you never go out there. I mean, it is true. I mean, I, I, you know, I don't know if I want to be turned into a crispy critter, however, because you never know. I, you know, I mean, you make it to heaven, and they go, uh, hey, uh, you know, there is a heaven. And uh, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but um, you don't you qualify. Got, you got to come in with all your parts. <laughs> you <know? laughs> well, and and that's what uh, Tony asked me questions like that. He says, you know, is is there an afterlife? Do you come back as something else? And I said, no, nah, Tony, you're dead. You're dead, and, and it's over. Yes, Tony, you know? you're going to come back as your mother. <laughs> Kvetching. Yeah, but yeah. So, I, you know, I meant to ask you, how, how did that blood test go? Did you ever get results? Oh, I'm uh, glad you asked about that. Let me, yeah. let, me, let me just tell you what has happened. Here it is. It's yeah. what? It's almost as of Friday, it will be four weeks. It'll be a whole month, yeah. a solid month. Okay. Yeah. It was the 24th of uh, February. Uh, to date, I have not heard a word from the doctor. All right. Yeah. But let me add a few little facts here. Okay. I checked with Medicare, went on to my Medicare to see if they had at least put in for it yet. Not yeah. only have they put in for it, are you ready for this? I spent a total of an hour there. Right. How much? Uh, and and uh, got, uh, I got two, two bad uh, needle things you know in yeah. my arm uh, they drew the and, blood and then one that actually worked and you would think if they were called they are named the cancer in blood something or another all right because i don't want to uh -huh. name the company you would think that if blood was in their name blood would be a specialty right and wouldn't yeah. be part of that specialty being able to get the blood out of you in some kind of semblance of order right no way took them forever to get the blood out of me anyway I then spend a short time with a woman who's filling out all the stuff I probably could have filled out in the beforehand if they had put their intake thing online. And, and then, then the doctor came in, checked me under the throat, checked me in the groin, found a slightly large, enlarged uh, lymph node in my groin, but, you know, that could be from any number of things. And uh, he said, uh, well, we'll, uh, we'll get to you with the, back to you with the blood test. And they drew five vials of blood. I guess four for them and one for a vampire somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. So this took maybe they, yeah, this took, they put it down as 45 to 59 minutes. Okay. All right. How much do you think the bill was? 600. Oh, come on. That's what Medicare paid after they were after they were through not letting them get away with what they wanted to get. <laughs> yeah. What they ask for? Over five hundred five thousand dollars. Wow. Over five. Are you ready for that? Over five thousand dollars. The uh, Medicare, of course, said that's only worth about twelve hundred. Yeah. So I checked, and they had already sent the check out to them. I mean, they, they, the 3rd of uh, February, they had sent, they, they uh, Medicare had gotten the, uh, the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the payment. Payment, yeah. you know, the request for payment. But the rest of it, which is my ARP um, insurance, which they pay everything. I went over there and they had already paid that too, another $190. Isn't ARF that uh, ARP, thing for ARP, uh, ARP, dog? ARP, ARP. ARP. Oh. Yeah. 
uh, the nerve of these people to number one, charge that much. By the way, $500 charge for intake, original, you know, first time intake. What do you mean? I shouldn't go to the. I have to go to a doctor for the first time, right? Why are yeah. you charging me five hundred bucks for it? Now I'm not. I'm not mad at it because Medicare paid for it, and then my insurance company paid for the rest. I'm not paying anything, so I can't really be pissed. But I am, and I am pissed because they're ripping my government off for money. Yeah, they're, you know? they're ripping everybody off because everybody contributes to Medicare. Yeah, or your employers yeah. do. But I mean, and then I don't hear from them. He, he said I'd hear from them next week. Next, I'll call you next week and uh, okay. uh, talk, call, call you on Monday and let you have it. And I thought maybe it was taking a long time for certain blood tests to come back. He huh? did all the blood tests on site. He he's able to do all the blood site blood tests right on site. So really, they were finished by twenty minutes after I left. Well, since they shorted them forty five hundred dollars, maybe they felt that that part telling you what it was all about, what they didn't get compensated for. So you know, screw you. Well, <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I you got to admit that's pretty shoddy. Yeah. You know, that's pretty shoddy. I mean, even if they were to call me tomorrow, that I, I, that's too late. You know. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, you know, and and they've got him. You know, I, I, probably what happened is he looked. The stuff came back. He looked at it. Said nothing really bad here. I noticed my platelets were low. They had gotten that already. Uh, yeah. But you know, he probably didn't notice anything, and just it didn't occur to him to call. Uh, I I I I even call people at the end of a carpet installation. And I know sure you do <laughs> because you're a good carpet installer. Okay, <laughs> right. but I mean, I just. I just can't believe it, and the 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 gall to charge five thousand dollars. I know why they do it, because yeah. they know they're only going to get twelve hundred, and then the difference they take off on their taxes. Really? Sure. They say, you know, we we bad debt. Bad de well, not a bad debt, but that you know. Yeah. Uh, I, we didn't get the full amount, so therefore the difference is we can take it off on our taxes. Oh, you know that, that's that sounds like the kind of tax uh, manipulation that you accuse Donald Trump of. Well, you know? not the same. And you know, no no porno star screwed my doctor, but <laughs> yeah, but, you know. But you know, I mean, the nerve, just yeah. the nerve of it. I mean, that was really what bothered me, and and I can't figure out why. You know, I mean, I'm I'm sure the reason I haven't heard from him is there was nothing in there. I'm sure mm -hmm. if there was something in there that was drastic, I'd get a call. You know, maybe, maybe either that or he or if I dropped dead because he didn't tell me what was wrong with me. Uh, You'll Mar never know. Marjorie has a great action against them. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you guys haven't learned your lesson from suing landlords and and uh, or uh, you know, for, for tenancy. I, I tell you no, that, no, I that is. I didn't sue my landlord. I, I know, but you paid to defend yourself, and you know. Uh, it just really goes to to the to the end result, which is never get involved with attorneys. You know, there 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 are reasons that I don't like attorneys. Even in California, uh, there's a thing the, these people that support the Second Amendment, and then there's the California government. And every time the Second Amendment supporters win uh, a, a something in court. Then California just uses the people's money to stay it, to uh, fight it, to appeal it, and you know who's paying for that? The same people. Well, that are uh, I, the suit. In, in, in my case, I'd be all for it. You know, <laughs> so the money would be my money being put to good use is how I would look at it. Yeah. You know. Well, uh, so uh, let's see what else is going on here. But anyway, uh, so, so anyway, so that that really, really that pissed me off. off. Yeah, I mean, really, I mean, the, the colossal gall of these people uh, to do that, you know? I mean, uh, come on. Um, and, and then everybody I asked, they said, oh, this is, this is guy's supposed to be a good doctor, you know? Yeah. But, but you couldn't prove it by me, you well, know? Have you called to find out what the status is? No, I don't want to. I don't want oh. to, and I'll tell you why. 
No, it, Bill. It's principle. <laughs> no, it's a it's the principle of it all. Uh, you know um, that it's his job to call me, not mine to call him. Well, gee, that Alex Bennett, he could have been saved, but he didn't want to call. I'm sure and that, find any, out that any any he, any court two aspirins any, and he would have lived. Any court that is is uh, <laughs> is is hearing the suit between uh, Marjorie Miller and Doctor X. Uh, will say it wasn't Alex's job to call. You know, he just could very. All you have, all you assume is that it was okay. That's why he didn't call me, right? Well, you know what happens when you assume. Well, I'm saying, forget about that. I mean, am I right? Yeah. Come on. Well, you know, I would make the guy answer the phone and no, give you the information. No, I don't. I don't. I don't want. And, I don't, and I'd I don't. ask him, hey, how come you haven't called me? You got paid a month ago. Oh, you, yeah. know? you know, I had a guy, uh, two guys, actually, at Sirius XM when I, they, when I was let go. Yeah. On the last day I was there, they said, well, get a hold of us in a couple of weeks, and we'll get together and we'll have lunch. All right? So yeah. after a couple of weeks, I wrote them, and I said, okay, let's go have lunch. And they said, well, we'll get back to you. I, I, All right? I got, I, no, wait a minute. I've never heard from them. And oh, I've, I know. I, 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 I've I, often I, thought about I, writing them a note saying, dear so-and-so, how are you doing? By the way, d don't bother. I've already eaten. Well, <laughs> you know, I was going to mention that you do something on that on that tack. Uh, have lunch, get a receipt, yeah. send them the receipt and say, sorry, you missed it, but you can send the check to this address. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, what the hell, you know? Yeah. And, where's my, oh, there it is. Okay. okay. I'm just looking for something. Um, anyway, you had something else you wanted to bring up? Well, you know, um, uh, I wanted to ask you this Trump thing. No, God, I knew uh, you'd so the grand that. jury, the grand jury was told not to go out today. Uh, do you think that they're avoiding this to stop protests, or no, no. Uh, does uh, does Bragg really doesn't have a case and is oh, reconsidering? I think, I think it's quite the opposite. You don't think the grand jury, he's having a hard time convincing no, the grand no, jury to bring no, charges? No, I think he isn't doing it because Trump said, they're going to arrest me on Tuesday, and he just wants to make Trump look bad. Nah. Yeah. I mean, why? why he, there's no rush here. He can do it next week, can't he? Well, you know, I... I there's no rush. Uh, you know, I was, I was going to loan you guys uh, a set of cuffs here, you know. Yeah, you know, but I mean, uh, he wants to get arrested. You know, he thinks it's going to help him. I don't yeah. think I don't think it is, to be honest with you. Yeah. No, I. And actually, by the way, all you all you Trump fans, send your money to him because you know he's he he's only a billionaire, and if he had more money than that, uh, maybe you might not want to send him money. But a billionaire, God, he he barely can afford this. I'm yeah. sorry, Alex. You forgot this is Gabnet. There are no Trump <laughs> fans. <laughs> there are no Trump fans listening to this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but um, no, but I'm saying that you know, I mean, I think I think they just waited and just said, you know, he says we're going to arrest him on Tuesday. We're not going to arrest him on Tuesday. You know, yeah. we're going to make him w wave in the wind and make people go. Well, I thought you said it was going to. But remember, folks, he's always been a liar. Okay. So. Well, uh, yeah. Now, now you're uh, you're you're talking to the to the choir. So um, let's see. I don't hear them singing. Yeah. Uh, what's this DNA that they unlocked from Beethoven's hair? I didn't know about that. Oh yeah. Uh, let's see. I'll I'll press on that. So um, a DNA from Beethoven's hair unlocks family secret. Uh, I got to I got to subscribe to the Wall Street Journal to find out. Oh, okay. So don't feel like don't wave us oh, in the no, wind. Oh, here right it is. Now. It came up. Oh, no, then it just got covered up again. Yeah. Uh, you know, I am so tired of being nickel and dime. Well, but by no, the but you went to Drudge, right? That's where you found it. Yeah. Right, and then Drudge then does it, Drudge is nothing but links. Okay. Yeah. But, uh, and but, which is not which is not terrible, except for the fact that Drudge is biased in his links. Okay. But the point that I'm going to make here is that, um, uh, you know, the fact that these are links, they should be links that are open, that people can get to without right. having to pay for them. Right. And, and, and there's he, paywalls on everything now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, 
uh, I want to use the elevator in my apartment. I got to pay. No, <laughs> it, it feels like that. Yeah. Everything's a subscription. Everything you got to pay for. And I'm just so tired of being subscriptioned to death. Yeah. You know? And uh, so, you know, uh, I've gotten uh, past that. What What is this uh, thing that uh, Cuba is uh, mad about the treatment of their ball players in the World, Bas- uh, World Baseball Classic? Uh, where, uh, so do they get mistreated? Uh, it looks like it was what in What do you mean in the World Baseball? I, 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 uh, I, if I press on it, I'll probably have to pay. Yeah, I'll probably have to pay uh, for it. Don't go, don't go looking there and try, trying to find stories. If you found them ahead of time, printed them out, read them to me, okay. Uh, but who's you, got that kind of time? Well, then don't, you, then, but don't try to pull it out from there because it's taking you forever to find it and read it and find out what it's about. So what, all what's right. all this about Beethoven's hair? Well, I don't know. Okay, go, well, go, I didn't go. know either. I figured you you have all day to watch and, and learn stuff. I don't go to Drudge. Well, uh, Drudge just gives you a few uh, interesting things. Uh, you know, lately, I stopped listening to Sirius Satellite because uh, my subscription was up and I refused to renew it. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Good you know, you. I've, been listening, I've been listening to Pandora, and I just discovered that my car radio has iHeart. In it. Yeah, but guess guess who owns Pandora? Uh, yeah, it's um, Sirius XM. Sirius, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they got my five bucks a month for uh, commercial free. Yeah. And uh, but uh, so and iHeart. Uh, so I'm um, I look at it. I press the button and I say, Oh, iHeart. What is this? And I was listening to W O R Radio in New York. Mm-hmm. Is that a right wing station? Uh, it, it sounded like it. Well, it's uh, it it, <clears throat> it it. I can't say that iHeart has politics. Okay. Yeah. Um. Uh. But uh, the people they put on certainly are, you know, and um, I don't know why. Uh, but that it, it's been a been a thing they've been doing in radio for the longest time. They feel the only people that listen to radio. Are, uh, are 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 people right wingers? Right wingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because they defined years ago somebody uh, who was it? Well, it cap. I think it was Cap Cities, was it, or something that owned it beforehand, before yeah. that, and then it became iHeartRadio. And yeah. he 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 said to my uh, general manager at the station I was at, he said, "I don't know what you got this guy on your radio station for because talk radio is conservative talk." So I went, you know, is really? I, well, you know, he me. might have a point there. Uh, what well, what left wing stations have really survived? I mean, uh, what's his name? Um, who was the vice president that invented the internet? Al Gore. Uh, Al Gore had a TV station, right? Uh, that was left wing, and that mm-hmm. failed miserably. Uh, you know, almost. I don't think it, I don't think it was established as, as left wing. However, it no? was established as trying to be somewhat non political. In other words, uh, you know, having a, Al Gore's non political. It, it was. It was very. It's a very interesting channel, if I remember correctly. It yeah. wasn't a question of politics. It was a question that they had people do documentaries for it who had a, a interesting points of view and so on and so forth, and they were original works. And uh, there's a lot of good stuff on there. I saw a lot of good stuff on there, and it wasn't necessarily right-wing or left-wing, which is very Is any of that stuff on uh, YouTube? No, no, I don't think so. No. None of the content? No. I mean, you know, I mean, that's kind of what YouTube has become. I mean, YouTube is... Uh, YouTube's pretty non-political, if you think about well, it. Well, YouTube seems to cater to whatever you look for. So, for instance, I, I look at uh, cool. shooting skills, or I, I look at dietary stuff. Uh, or and then I, it starts I, coming up, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's the algorithms that do that. You know? Yeah. And uh, it's kind of, oh. kind of, you know, amazing. Oh, now, uh, my medical moment here. Uh, I just got some stuff called benfotamine. Now, benfotamine is a lab-made version of vitamin B1, mm-hmm. and 
what it's supposed to do is once you ingest it, uh, it goes to work much better than thiamine. Uh, but uh, it's for diabetes, nerve damage, Alzheimer's, uh, memory oh. loss issues, Where do I and, and so forth. And that uh, that guy I listened to on the Internet. I'm looking uh, for something here. Hold on a second. Go uh, ahead. Go ahead. Uh, um, Andrew uh, Uberman. Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, he's the one that was talking he's about benfotamine. Here, here you go. Uh, if I sent you some, would you take it? Oh, oh, you have the vitamin B. Yeah, there's my B12. Yeah, this is uh, B1, B12, uh, and uh, 300 milligrams per pill of benfotamine, but you take four pills a day. And uh, it's good stuff. Well, I, I, you're recommending drugs now. Hmm. Yeah, well, at least I'm not selling them. Yeah, no, anyway. Yeah, I'll take one of these, by the way. It's pretty good for your pl helping my platelets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, uh, you know, you were tell you were saying that uh, you were having trouble with some memory stuff, and, uh, you know, we all are. So uh, when I found out about benfotamine, I figured yeah. I'd try it. Well, by the way, if people go over to Facebook, we have another episode of Marjorie and Alex go to the park. How many thousands of uh, of viewers? Well, we only did that what about oh I don't know about eight hours ago, mm -hmm. and so far, hold on a second, uh, we have um, let me see here, um, four hundred and thirty six people have Very watched nice. it over that almost five hundred because I have some other places I put it up too. You know, uh, pe people have said to me. That uh, when you had the issue the other night where you couldn't get uh, your guest on for the first half hour and you uh, sort of just uh, ad-libbed, mm -hmm. uh, they said, that's the Alex that we love to hear. I know it's a lot of work, but... Yeah, that's the Alex that's too lazy to do that now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, yeah, uh, but I guess I did talk for like a half hour. I can do it, yeah. but I'm I've just been very lazy lately. Oh, you, you know who you know who it was? It was Steve Fox yeah. uh, who who said that, and he said he just really enjoyed, you know, listening to you doing uh, doing your thing. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, you know who I've been talking to. This no, be uh, I, Brian Neary will know this, and Kevin will know this. Uh -huh. uh, uh, Alan won't know this because I don't think he ever listened to me when I was in San Francisco. No, I don't um, think he did. But uh, Chuck Farnham, remember Chuck, Chuck Farnham? Far yeah, he uh, he uh, he was the uh, the police uh, guy. Uh, 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 what what was his name? Uh, he had a TV show. What? And he uh, Chuck? No, Chuck. No, no, no. Chuck Farnham. No, was, was Chuck McCann. Chuck, no, Chuck Farnham was my. Uh, what can we call it? My stunt guy. He would go out, for instance, and do things like uh, smear mustard all over himself and then have people uh, uh, dip pretzels into his skin. I didn't know him. Oh, yeah. He's a very popular part of my, my show. Well, let's bring all these other people in anyway. Well, that would have meant that I listened to you after Camel. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me see here. Here comes uh, all these people. You guys remember Chuck Farnham, don't you? You remember Chuck, don't you, Kevin? All over himself and then I had people oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, Hmm? Some, somebody had their... Um, uh, I didn't know you went to... <laughs> what? Wait, wait a minute. Hold on a second. There's Charlie. Where, where is he? Oh, there he is. And where's Brian Neary now? It says joining, but he's not there. I, I was thinking Officer Joe Bolton, or the, there was somebody else that uh, did um, like a kid's show. Joe that Bolton was on in, in New York. Oh, well, there was somebody else that had a kid's show that you knew. His name was, first name was Chuck. McCann. Chuck McCann, okay. And that was I, in I, New York. Oh, was that in New York? Okay, well, that's where I grew up, so. You can, you can see those B1 pills are really helping, Phil. Yeah, really. Hey, hey, I'm I'm remembering back to when I was a kid, but uh, I I and I did that especially for you, uh, Alan, so that uh, you would have something to complain about. No, I, the only thing I got to complain about is your faint line on your COVID test for the past couple of days, and you're 
thinking that doesn't mean you have COVID. Well, this morning it was clear. Yeah, well, these tests are not 100%. The PCR is the way to go. So you'll do what you want. I'm not around you right mm -hmm. now, but I will be in a week. Hopefully. Well, I'll remember to cough on you. Yeah, hopefully you'll feel better by then. Yeah. There are two people <clears throat> trying to get in as Brian Neary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, uh -oh. Let me get my, my, my camera ready. Right. <laughs> Let me get my camera ready. Let's see here. Uh, Brian Neary. Brian Neary. Going once. Going twice. Well, you've got one Brian Neary. Oh, Neary. there is Brian. That's the real oh, okay. Brian Neary. That is the real, real Brian Neary. Okay. Were you having trouble getting on or something, Brian? I can't hear you. Oh, no, no, no sound. And he's not muted. Hmm. Let's Hello? See. Oh, there you yeah, go. Now we're there you go. My speaker was muted. Yeah. So yeah. Phil was wrong again. Oh, yeah. Do you, re well, do you remember Chuck so Farnham on my radio here. show? Yeah, I keep telling you, that's the guy who wiped his, stick his hand down his butt crack and shake people's hands. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, God. Was, no wonder I didn't remember. I it. would never... Shake that guy. That was called. They, they had like a. It was called stink palming. <laughs> That's what it was. And then I, one time when I was cruising around the internet, I found there was a thing like a reunion of Alex Bennett show people, and they had him and uh, Laurie Thompson was on there, and a few more people, and you weren't on there. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I heard about that, but I wasn't there. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is great. Yeah, oh, yeah. everybody but Alex. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, Wasn't it's there a comedian that used to go to the bathroom, take a pee, and then not wash his hands, and then purposely go out and shake people's hands? Well, wow. here, what happened was uh, we had, uh, let's see here, uh, 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 Chuck uh, stink palmed the mayor's wife's hand, yeah. I think. And which, he, which he, he stink palmed uh, Don Imus' his hand. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, that's okay. We always got a good laugh out of it because he would come back with a photograph of him shaking hands with these people. You know? <laughs> but that wasn't the only thing he did. I mean, we had a big fight going on with, uh, oh, what's her name? That, uh, that, that author does all the bodice oh. rippers. Uh, Anne Rice? And, no, no, she was in, no. the one in San Francisco. Yeah, uh -huh. um, you know who I'm talking about. No, yeah, I, I do. But uh, well, uh, I kept maybe, talking about her stuff. As, one of those B one as, as being kitty porn because, like, all her girls were like teenage girls, and they were getting their bodices ripped, as it were. And uh -huh. and so I sent Chuck up to hear her mansion, which is this huge thing. It's the old Spreckles Mansion. Is that um, on Broadway? Huge. I can't remember where it is. Pacific? Yeah. Something like that, yeah. And uh, he then went to the park that overlooked it with a rubber doll, a big rubber doll. And, uh, and, and, and as I read from her book, he played out the scene. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she then threatened to sue us, which was oh, yeah. one of the nicest things that's ever happened. Daniel Steele, that's who. Daniel Steele, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 The, love story. I, I, the best thing about the, the story about Daniel Steele is... Her chief of security was one of my best friends. In fact, he worked, when he wasn't working for her, as my bodyguard. Okay. So one night we went out to dinner, and uh, he paid for it with her credit card. <laughs> Yo! What a, what a dessert. I was trying, can I get dessert? <laughs> Take it to go. Yeah, yeah. How'd you meet Chuck Barnum? That's right. You know, I can't tell you. Uh, it, 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 it may be something mm -hmm. weird because he was he was a pretty weird arm guy. Wrestling. You know what? So arm wrestling with the stink bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to suggest that to him. We haven't talked in twenty years because we, and we haven't talked about it. But we had a, an out. Uh, we fell had fell out with each other. Um, um, I won't even say over what, uh, but. Uh, now it's 20 years later, and, you know, as you get older, you get more forgiving. Oh, you know, and when he got a hold of me, I got a hold of him back, and we've been talking to each other a lot lately. So, you know, I, I, might, I might even give him a show on GabNet. What the hell, you know. 
So. How can he shake somebody's hand, though, on GabNet? Well, yeah. he won't have to. So. Does he live in San Francisco? Uh, he, no, he lives now in not in Fallon, Nevada. Oh. How, is, how come all I, your comedian friends that wound up in Nevada in the middle of nowhere? No, like the old taxes old. out there, right? What? No state tax, right? Nevada or no? Yeah, yeah I, no state tax. There's no yeah, state tax. Yeah, they people well, No employment either. <laughs> well, yeah. but, well, unless you're in Las Vegas or Reno, right? Yeah, but he's living, yeah. in, he's living in Fallon, and he's got himself like a, yeah. he lives with his mother, has a 6,000 square foot home wow. Wow. in Fallon. How can they put that many trailers together? Well, I, they managed to do it. So. <laughs> yeah, I, ju I just got a hold of a friend that I haven't talked to maybe in like maybe like eight or nine years. And he says he's in Vegas and he's coming back pretty soon. And yeah, he bought a house in Vegas just to say that's your primary. Say his, his primary and then he's back here in San Jose. So. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, it, uh, it, it, you know, it sounds uh, kind of interesting to me that he's living there and it seems like he likes it, you know, and it's not treating him badly. So we'll see, you know, yeah. so, uh, but anyway, uh, so how are all of you doing? Anybody have anything? Wayne, how are you doing? Okay. How about you? I'm fine. It's funny. Okay. We don't hear Wayne say much, yeah. but he does have the clearest mic of anybody, including mine. <laughs> got a good voice you should give him a show no jeez no no <laughs> well anybody who wants a show you can have it charlie want to do a show you, you know. get a show you get a show <laughs> yeah. look under your chair yeah <laughs> brian neary you want a <laughs> show <laughs> no no thanks kevin how about you you want a show for this one you know, you could Tony could do comic show. <laughs> Brian could do cars. Talk about my uh, new you know. Sorry, Tony I'm sports. Tony yeah. sports and my comic talk. Oh, comic talk. Yes, yeah, there I, you go. I'm sorry. We already uh, have a, uh, what do you call it? Show? Sports, sports guy. Sports guy. Yeah. Let's Now, let's see if this is, in fact, Jeff. Okay. Yeah. If this is Jeff. Yes. Let's see here. Is it Jeff? Yes, it is That's Jeff. the real Jeff. Okay. I yeah, had my finger on my on button, button, but everything's fine. So we're we're cool. Uh, so anyway, hey, uh, that's so, real. yeah. So how many of you would agree with me that the reason why they haven't yet indicted uh, Donald Trump is because Donald Trump said they were going to on Tuesday, and they wanted to make him look like an asshole. Yeah, I don't. Think so. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I. I don't How know. can you make him look more like an asshole than he already is? That's true. But, but doesn't it suck because it's like the first one that is, you know, this first case is like, is really a non case. I mean, it's a case, but it's not like the other two. Well, it's not like the, the other, other two are it, so much more powerful. This one is you one. the documents? This is one that is probably not going to. Uh, come out with it, it may come out with a conviction, but it won't, won't come out with a long time, term, no. you know, time it's, in jail. I it's think a misdemeanor, I, I understand. But no, no, Couldn't not this felony. one. Not this one. No, it's not. Yeah, they're not going to go after him for a misdemeanor. You're listening to too much conservative radio again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, they could okay. charge him with a, with a misdemeanor, but they're not. The Wall you know. Phil. Uh, uh, th th this, it's also, th is it a federal crime? That they're trying to. Uh, it, hit it's the, not a federal crime that they're going after to him on. But if the feds want to come in and pile in on top of that and say that because he he claimed this money, he they claim he took this money out of funds for campaigns for his campaign, then that's illegal by federal law. Now, now on Fox, they're saying that Michael Cohn has been discredited because of. Uh, uh, Michael Cohen's attorney at the time uh, came out and said that uh, he he said totally different things to him and to the feds than he is saying to uh, the city. So they're they're trying to discredit uh, uh, Cohen from. Uh, well, they can try and discredit him all they want, but there's a certain fact that's immutable here, and that is that he was given one hundred and thirty thousand dollars to pay back the money he gave for Donald Trump to Stormy Daniels. 
Uh, and I, and I, and it doesn't matter whether he went to jail. He admitted that he had done wrong. Uh, but the there are what I had heard is that the grand jury, it seems that whatever he said before the grand jury seemed to play pretty well because it seemed pretty honest and straightforward. It Be didn't didn't seem to have any any uh, massive mistruths in it. You're saying that's it, what they're, Michael they're, Cohen said. They're but, trying to say it's like a bookkeeping. You know, they're trying to say, oh, it was a mistake. You know? But, yeah, and it's, uh, it's not a bookkeeping mistake. I mean, no, it is not the most serious charge against him. In fact, it's the least serious charge against right. him. But what it yeah. might do is that if it finally does get, uh, he does get charged with it, it will embolden uh, uh, Georgia and it will embolden mm -hmm. uh, the government uh, where the uh, documents are concerned. And they're now finding out there's even more horrible stuff in the document situation. Because now the it turns out that he uh, it has something to do with his lawyers. I'm trying to remember what the what the problem exactly was, but that he told his lawyers to do stuff which made them lie, which yeah. is trying to, you know, uh, play. They got that on video. And they have that on video. What is it exactly? Do you know, Kevin? What was it? Well, I don't know the whole story, but it was something about he told them that he wait a minute hold on hold on a second kevin kevin uh, phil pay attention to this go ahead oh I, I was looking for the for the bombshell that uh well, anyway. supposedly came down today yeah, but anyway it got they had all the documents yet they were still moving documents around and then he gave them a few more and said that they had them all and they still didn't have more and they have it on video that they were continually moving documents and then he would continually produce more after he said that they had them all. And that's basically the gist of what they're looking at yeah, right now. Yeah, And then you got the other case, which is the federal case against him for the January 6th uh, insurgency. Yep. Right. Uh, which, it, you know, so he's got a lot of crap he's got to fight eventually. Um, and I think it will embolden we'll all these we'll other people to go ahead with theirs now, you know. That's okay. Phil will still back him because he's a loser, not Phil. And that at, no. at what point? At what Trump. point then he cannot run? If they, if he if he gets locked, put in jail, what, where's the? Well, I think he can run. Period. If he wants to run, whether you know, uh, 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 if he gets accused, if he gets convicted of a federal crime, he can't run for. President. He can't run for president. Oh, oh you mean like a felony? <clears throat> Yeah. Like a federal crime, like a felony. Yeah. Uh, Jeff? Yeah, I remember there was a guy who was the vice president. Who Agnew? Quit. Yeah, Agnew. So he got himself off and didn't go to prison because he also agreed that he would never try to work. You run for, for the government. Yeah. Never run for office again. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I mean, um, uh, you know, it, it's the f problem with Trump is he's just, I hate to say this, he's just stupid where crime is concerned, you know? And everything else. I mean, he leaves too many openings for people to come after him. Yeah, but they still don't, they still can't get him. I, I, I won't well, believe it until I see him in handcuffs. Well, you and know it's not. Photoshop. I think they're all being very careful, and they're being well, very careful because they, they want to be able to if they're gonna if they're gonna try him, they want to mm -hmm. be able to be, be sure they've got a good case, you know, yeah. and and they and they they've gotten all the, the information they have to have. In this it'll case, be, they probably long... already have it because it's uh, it's it's basically uh, it is a bookkeeping situation. You know, but it's an it'll illegal long, bookkeeping situation. It'll be a long time before he's in handcuffs, Brian. If New York uh, indicts him, he'll show up uh, in front of the judge. The judge will read the indictment. He'll go to another part of the courthouse and they'll release him. The judge will release him with no fine. You know, no. Well, his fingers are he's so. Not, he's yeah. not a flight risk. His, his fingers are so fat, they just need to put finger cuffs on him. You know. <laughs> Um, this uh, this is from the Daily Mail, which is a UK uh, <laughs> news thing. So Did you so subscribe yet? By, or are you by, just going to read the headline? By the way, do you know? Do you know? Do you know who owns the Daily Mail? 
No. Also, it's a show at noon, too. <laughs> Murdoch owns the Daily Mail. Oh, well, he's a good American. Uh, <laughs> smoking gun letter from Michael Cohen claims he was not reimbursed. And it, that was released six hours ago. It's a wow. bombshell document obtained wow. by the Daily Mail could throw a wrench into prosecutors persecu uh, uh, pursuing criminal charges. Oh, that fixes everything. Oh, well, uh, uh, Yep. Well, I guess you're right, Bill. You. Nothing's going to happen. Yeah, yeah I think the Daily Mail was also almost put out of business when they uh, tapped the phones of the royal family. Oh. Hey, that's just, you know, good news gathering <laughs> uh, efforts. Phil, don't be a moron. Okay, don't act like it. We, Phil, we, Phil we, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think he's going to get charged for any of these things? Not a bit. Uh, Bill if he doesn't gets, believe he's guilty of anything. Yeah, that's true. But I, I don't think he's going to get charged. Uh, mm -hmm. I, and I don't think he's going to do a, a, a minute in, in jail, and he will not be handcuffed. You know, if anything, he might. He uh, wants them. He wants them to handcuff him. Yeah. 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 Well, it's, it's been reported he, that he's uh, said he wants them to handcuff him because he's yeah, got a whole film crew him. ready to film this whole thing, the arrest, everything. Secret Service is going to stop the hand. And he figures there. what happens is he may turns it into a, uh, a fundraising event, you know. Uh, he, and, and what's horrible about that is, is that these people are just morons for sending him money. They don't have that money to send him, but they send him money anyway. You're sending money to a goddamn alleged billionaire. I don't think he's anywhere well, close I, to a billionaire. Bill, Bill how, much, how much of your money went to Stormy, Stormy Daniels, do you think? Oh, my God. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> and what he didn't send, I did. So, <laughs> but, uh, get out of it. Nothing. You know that uh, uh, Trump supposedly <laughs> has 52% uh, support uh, at, uh, of GOP voters. Uh, yeah. And uh, the the closest one is DeSantis, which uh, twenty four, I think, and then Christy Nome and a number of others uh, have running around with one percent. Do you yep. know that? Did you know that right. you rubbed him off with your money? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bill, by, the, by the way, by the way, I think you're wrong, Phil. I think I I saw it as somewhere around thirty four percent. Yeah, the thing uh, about it. well, this was a, a GOP survey that I saw. Well, today. that's one GOP. Who who did it? Rasmussen? Yes. No, I, Tony. I, I have to find it. Tony, yeah, you have to find it. This made me totally stupid. I was thinking about this, right? It's totally thing. stupid, Tony. If you're saying it, it's totally yeah. stupid. Maybe you can make this rational to me. You ready? Alex, is $130,000 even a lot of money? She took nothing for hush money. Like, that's not even a lot if you think about it. One hundred thirty grand. She should have held out for more money. I mean... Oh, well, That's a year's salary for you, Tony. No, but I mean, if you think about it logically, she couldn't even buy a house in Queens without a condo. I mean, wouldn't you think she would hold out for more money? You know something? They she probably could came move into your mother's unit. They probably <laughs> came to her and started with a low ball number, and then she finally settled on that, saying, "If he's going to give me money, I'll just take the money." You yeah, know? I mean, I never understood that. Like, that doesn't seem like a lot, really, to be quiet. But you yeah. see, the money was used. The money was yeah. used to hush her up during the campaign. That's what the problem is here. Oh. You know, that it was used to affect the campaign. I thought she would try to hold out and get more. Maybe she undersold herself, really, is what I'm saying. No, no. I, I, you know, I mean, I don't know. What is that? What is, what is, what do you get paid for blowing? But I'm saying, I'm hundred thirty. Yeah, when you're told her to hold out, get a little bit more. I least. mean, you know, it doesn't, it's not going to taste that bad if you hold, hold your nose, you know. But I mean, I, I, do, I mean, I don't mean it as a joke. I was thinking, I was, you know, she can't even buy a condo with that in Florida, probably. I mean, she should have held out to get yeah, Well, I mean, back. I wonder how much she could have gotten if she had really That's held what I'm out. saying. Could yeah. she have gotten more than that is what I'm saying. What do you guys what, think? You think she could have held out for more? He's a billionaire, I mean. But no, he's not. Well, he I know, I know. I just wanted to say that again. <laughs> not, not when he's got to sell his little 
souvenir cards or whatever those things were that he was selling. Was, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somebody said, said, did you buy any of those? Fungible tokens. That's what they're called. Did you called. buy any oh, of those? Somebody said that if you bought those, that you made a lot of money. I, no, I bought his comic books. Shecky used to laugh. I used to buy the Trump comic books. And whenever I grade them, they used to, I used to get over $100. For it. I mean, it's like, I got like another 30, 40 copies raw. I'm going to have to grade them. I got them. one. Hey, yeah, Quinn, I gave Quinn, you one. Yeah. one. I got another one in my room. Hold on. Let me get uh, it. Quinnipiac's like got down. Trump at 46%. And uh, the Santos is. Yeah, but like... you see, that's right now, Phil. Yeah. That's right now. And and it's too early to tell. Once everybody, the, the, the you know, DeSantis gets out there and starts saying stuff and. Uh, other people start saying stuff and everything, and it becomes a, yeah. uh, you know, a, a open field. I think that the the numbers are going to change for as soon as because p some people haven't even heard DeSantis say anything yet. You know, he yeah. told him at least he didn't pay off a stripper. How much you get? How much you getting for that comic book? This book, right? It cost me two dollars and twenty cents. <laughs> so I send it out to CGC to get graded, Alex. Mm -hmm. and this is a nice guy. So if it comes back in nine six, I get a hundred dollars for my eyes closed from suckers like crazy. It's a ripoff of Kirby's Hulk number one. That's what it is. Uh, how much? Kirby. Phil Phil's willing to bump that up to nine hundred dollars. He <laughs> sent me one, but it wasn't I that did. one. No, I got a different. I got all the varying covers. I just whenever they come out. I mean, the, the one scene this is going to pay my airfare when everything. I come to visit you guys. I'm going to sell three. Of I these. mean, how much? How much do you sell those for? Oh, this one in a CGC when it comes back in nine six, I get a hundred dollars for it easy. Wow. Easy. It, they're fine over And you Alex. all thought he was stupid for collecting those comic books, didn't you? Even Jack used to say, Alex, are they that dumb? The paper? I just, yeah, he couldn't believe it. <laughs> I couldn't. Every time I saw one, I used to laugh when I used to back it up. <laughs> I, I, I told Tony, I said, you know, when you die, you know what they're going to do with all those comic books? There's going to be a dumpster out in front, and they're, they're all going to get dumped in there. <clears throat> They'll wind up in the landfill. I know all the Maybe. junk we collect. No, I, I'll bet I, you. I'll, I have bet, a list of stuff. I'll bet you. Just my estimation. I'm not going to ask him here, but yeah. I imagine Tony's worth more than you are. Oh, absolutely. What's it? Hey, you know, there, there's a guy on this on the uh, at the intersection where you where you stop at the light. Mm -hmm. He <laughs> says he's homeless. He's yeah. worth more than me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but no, but I mean, I, I'm I'm sure that you know Tony mm. has probably made pretty pretty good uh, pretty good change on these comic books. You know? Yeah, I have I have so much stuff down there; it's like crazy. I have yeah, I have a lot. I don't mean like you know, I just have so much stuff. Yeah, it's a what lot. What happens I, if the house burns down? Oh, forget. Well, it's insure, but you'll never get what it's. My sister's like, I don't know what to do with all this. Is you minute. can't. You, you insured it. Yeah, I insured it. Yeah, how I much is it how much how much are cheap. all your comic books then oh, insured for? I couldn't even tell you. No, how much did you insure them for? Oh, over two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, oh uh, so yeah, Tony, that. and that's just going low. I mean, that's not really. Uh, how stupid is he? Okay, come on. If you could, if you could I sell one more of those thirty five dollars. No, I paid four hundred dollars for my most expensive book. Hey, if if you can sell that Trump thing for a hundred dollars with CDC grading, CDC. how much does it cost to get? Graded by oh, to get graded, it cost me since I'm a dealer, it'll cost me sixteen dollars to grade it. Sixteen dollars. So I'm, I'm in for like twenty bucks, and then I'll be out for a minimum of a hundred, easy. Wow, maybe more. I'm in the wrong business. Jeez, yeah. you know. You know what it is? And sometimes I think about things. I used to. I think what it comes down to is, and I don't want to get Phil mad, but. I really think Trump is such a cult of personality is that the media really did make him more than what he really should be. Well, you know Trump I mean, Trump he's always been very good at playing the media. Yeah, okay. I mean, he's, even, he's, even, when, even when he wasn't sad. running for political office, when he was just, you know, he was doing The Apprentice and so on. I mean, he knew how to, how to get the, uh, uh, you know. He promised. I mean, to he's put not as dumb as we think at him. Hmm? What did you say? He he promised to put <laughs> Stormy Daniels on The Apprentice and didn't mm. do it. He he was supposed to put her on there, wasn't he? Yeah. Was he? And didn't do he, it. Well, yeah. he interviewed her on the couch. Yeah. yeah. Bill, did you send him money in Trump or no? Of I sent money to Trump in the 2016 oh, election. Not a lot, though. And I sent, a, I sent some when he was running in 2020. 
You took it. Some for his defense. legal defense just now. No, don't do it. Don't do it. And I like that they call Michael Cohen the fixer. They all have like little monikers, like you know, it's like like well, New York. Trump, I think fixer. Trump called them that. Yeah. Trump named them. Well, the you know, Trump, Trump, Trump had the nerve to call him a, a criminal the other day, saying, "Oh, he's a convicted criminal." You know what he he's was convicted of? Doing stuff for Trump. Yeah, got convicted, convicted, convicted doing no, stuff no, for no. Trump. This guy, <laughs> this guy uh, did a con with taxi medallions. Really? Uh, yeah. But that wasn't he, what he was charged with, Phil. Uh, no, he he did some sort of. He taxi. charged. He charged. Oh, oh, was that Michael no. Avenatti, or was that? Uh, no, no he Cohen. was charged. Cohen was charged, if I remember correctly. Yeah. With uh, uh, lying to an investigators or to the FBI or whatever, am I right about that, people? Uh, I, th I think that's I what it was. Me. Was that to do I with tax uh, No, it had to do with the it Trump was Stormy somewhere. Daniels situation that yeah. he initially lied to them. What's to say he's not lying now? Well, I mean, what's to say he hasn't decided to, to fess up? Uh, he has no reason to lie now. He's not getting anything out of it. They're not saying we're letting you out of jail because you're uh, uh, you're telling uh, you're you're fessing up here. He's not. They, he's already he's already spent his time and he's uh, you know. Didn't it, they let him out of jail because of COVID? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they yeah they did. Let him out. You come they out. Did. Really? They mm -hmm. did. Yes. Yeah. Why he can't, he can't because, no COVID? because they let a lot of people out of jail when COVID happened because they oh. felt that they didn't want to hold them in prison. And have them get COVID. Yeah. I thought maybe you want to pack Slovid. <laughs> Imagine, you know, yeah, but it. but no, but I mean, you yeah. know, I mean, he 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 was not charged with anything else but doing Trump's bidding basically and being loyal to Trump. And then when it turned when it was over and done with, Trump wasn't loyal to him. He's not loyal to anybody. He's not loyal to anybody. He's a creep. He's really loyal. You know how you're gonna get Trump? I think you got to get to his kids. You got to get to the inner circle. Got to get to the kids. He doesn't, get to the daughter he, he doesn't those, even like his. He'll let the sons go to jail, but that's the daughter they help protect. I think. Yep. He doesn't like his own kids for crying. No, out. he likes the daughter though, Alex. Well, in the he really likes. Really, really likes. Like, <laughs> really <laughs> likes a lot too. Yeah. <laughs> Phil, that's a little strange. My mother used to be like, my mother hated his guts, Phil, and Alex. Oh, yeah. She couldn't believe he won when he won. She couldn't. I never forget her face sitting on the couch like, yeah. what's going on here? I remember the uh, night. My mother I mean, wasn't uh, the brightest ball, be the I remember the night he won the first time, and um, um, he didn't win the second time. However, so why am I saying the first time? Yeah, he, he, yeah. when he the night he won, uh, I I woke up Marjorie and and she. Uh, well, I we went in the bedroom. Marjorie woke up and says, "What's happening with the election?" Blah blah blah. And I said, "Trump won." She said, "You're kidding me." She thought I was joking with her. My mother was. That, that's what Trump thought. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When, after he won, he didn't believe he was going to win. I don't think, right. I don't, I don't think he intended to win. I think yeah. he intended to take the money that he had raised for the campaign <laughs> and put it in his own pocket and go home. I think the publicity that he would have gotten by losing uh, would have helped him with his uh, career on TV. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, what career on TV? You know, he wants everybody to think he was so goddamn successful with the, with the um Apprentice. Apprentice. That mm -hmm. series was only in the uh, top ten shows. Yes, the first. It got the, wait a minute. By... Hold on a second. The uh, first year. After yeah. that, for the next five six years, it wasn't even in that's, the top ten. That's because he eclipsed it with Celebrity Apprentice. No, no, no. He, <laughs> no, I'm talking about all the apprentices. Uh, yeah, I'm. A... Uh, I'm looking here. Michael Cohn was 22 million in debt because of his taxi medallion. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but that uh, yeah. that wasn't the reason he got. Uh, and you know what he used to do? Investigation. You don't get bu you don't get busted for losing money. <laughs> yeah. You if you get busted uh, for losing Alex, money, you're a real you're douche. Fired. That was his moniker, right? When he was in the Apprentice. What? And I remember I I watched it a few times when the in the Apprentice they used to come into his office. He used to go, "You're fired." He used to love saying that, like you're letting the people go. Yeah. But, you know that those taxes like get severance pay. That's what they yeah. should have said. <laughs> at, at one point, we're worth one point two million dollars. Yeah. What in happened was here's here. In case people don't know what we're talking about, in New York yeah. City, if you were a taxi, you had to have what was called a taxi medallion, and that medallion was on the hood of your of your taxi. 
-hmm. And those medallions allowed you to be able to drive your cab in New York City. It was like a cab license. Well, they, after years and years and years, because they would only put out a certain amount of them, they got to be worth like a million and a half dollars. You know what they're going for now? Like $10,000 or some ridiculously cheap amount mm -hmm. because the cabs aren't doing that well, you know? And Uber, they're saying mm -hmm. because they of Lyft them. and Uber. Hmm? They, they, they've gone down because of Lyft and Uber. I yeah. think Alex yeah. just said that. I just said that. Oh. But you weren't listening to me. <laughs> I was <laughs> talking over you. Yeah. But uh, uh, so th he's he was in debt for twenty two million, uh, and I think there was some sort of fraud over it. But uh, well, it doesn't matter. He didn't get busted for that, Phil. Uh, yeah, Cohn pleaded guilty to tax fraud and campaign finance violations. Yep, as well as lying to Congress. Yeah, yeah, which would be, I think, lying to, like, detectives and FBI and so on. Lying to Congress, yeah, that too. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, but he was doing it all in the service of Donald Trump and, and right. being loyal to him and trying to save Trump's ass. Yeah, and, and then tr did Trump turn right? around and do anything to, to get him off the hook, you know, at that time? No. So if he went out after, uh, against Trump, he went out after Trump for a very simple reason. Trump wasn't loyal to him. Why should he be loyal to Trump? Now, right. Trump pardoned uh, guys like Roger Stone mm -hmm. and, and a number of other people that stayed loyal to him. Uh, if Michael Cohen would have stayed loyal, I think he probably would have gotten pardoned. I don't know if that's true necessarily. I think if he felt that was true, he would have just stayed the course and not done anything, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, uh, it, 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 you're talking about somebody there who is not a good friend, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You talk about he's got a golf course. <laughs> what do you mean he's got a golf course? How's that a follow up to me saying he's not a good friend? He's got a golf course. Well, yeah, it's that he cheats like a, at. Well, you know, yeah. if Marjorie <laughs> dies, if, I want to be friends with Trump because if if Marjorie dies, I have a place to bury her. <laughs> In New Jersey. Yeah, yeah. Um, so does he get special tax write-offs because of his graveyard? I think so. Right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Tony should start visiting there. Right from my mother over to Jersey. Tony the Undertaker. Yeah. yeah. You didn't, even, you didn't even have to put up a, a tombstone there, did you? What's it? On her on her grave. You oh no, to... because we my, we buried my dad first. We had to buy the we you know. So, so you just just put how smart he was? Did you ask him <laughs> if he wanted to be buried with her? Well, that's another story. My father wasn't expecting her so soon. He's probably coming to my dreams. <laughs> right just enjoy her for a while. She's coming. Yeah. Back. He's probably you have to buy her. the letters. You have to buy the letters. He's like, I'm never gonna live this down. Yeah. Yeah, you wait. have to buy the letters. No, they just chisel it in there. Just chisel it in there. He's probably saying, oh, Nancy's here already. I'll kill him when, I get, when you come up here. Yeah, uh, yeah. A friend of mine and Alan's donated a Torah to a, uh, really? to a Chabad, and they, and they made the Torah. Uh, it took a year to scribe it. And the last day when they were presenting it, I was able to make a donation, and the scribe had me uh, write one letter in that Torah, uh, and so I pay. I had to pay by the letter. It was eighteen dollars a letter, <laughs> and really? then they send you a certificate. You, get, you gave me eighteen dollars. Wow, that was generous. Uh, I, I, maybe it was the more. The Torah only <clears throat> cost like uh, seventy-five thousand. Yeah. yeah, but I know how much everybody here would like to see Trump in handcuffs. I think even Phil would enjoy it. Hey, I, I, I came prepared. What do you got? You're not going to pull out your pink handcuffs again. No, those are yours. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I came prepared. I've, I'm I've, going to visit these guys. Why don't you put I'm those on your side? Side. By, by the way, let me, let me ask you a question about that since you, you two guys are cops. Yeah. He was more of a cop than you were. Uh, no, nah, yeah. not really. I did it a lot longer than he did. He got taken out by a fence. Really? What? Yeah. What happened? What do you mean? You get taken? Alan got taken you mean out a, by a, a guy guy who was trying to sell jewelry illegally. You got no, taken no. out by picket fence. What you call it? It wasn't a picket fence. It was a yard fence. 
I was I was going <laughs> buy sell for narcotics, and the guy bought the drugs from me, and then he said, you know, you shorted me last time, and he spit in my face, and so we went running after him. Oh, and one of the other local agencies had a canine, and we went over a fence, and not the canine, but the, the bad guy and I, and he cleared, a, somebody had a, a load of pallets in their backyard. He jumped past it. I didn't and blew out my knee. Ooh. But uh, the dog got a hold of his testicles. Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> later. So. Well, yeah. you, you should actually consider yourself, uh, you know, home Except free on that one. That wasn't just a rent-a-cop. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> uh, anyway uh, my question is, handcuffs all have keys right yeah they're all the same they're all the same key aren't they no uh, it depends on the brand really yeah this is a safari land key oh really oh, okay yeah and uh this is an upgraded key uh it's it's got uh it's a little bit longer you know most of the keys are are very short and uh hard to yeah, hard to use Bill had to get it to make up for the size of his penis yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've been coveting it, huh? Uh so anyway, uh yeah, th these were my handcuffs uh when I uh was capturing bad guys. Oh, you you notice they look brand new. Uh yeah. <laughs> never been used. Uh yeah, but they yeah, no, they, they got it. What mm -hmm. brand are they? Uh that's a good question. Uh, Imagine if they're made in China. <laughs> uh, By the way, this guy, uh, what was this guy in, in, in uh, where was it, South Carolina or someplace? So it, uh, uh, killed Murdoch. His, Murdoch killed his wife and uh, his kid. Uh, now they're going after his son. Oh, the son killed somebody too, I think. Well, they're saying, yeah, they're, saying they're saying they're looking the into it. Was in a relationship with this Doesn't kid. anybody get out? I mean, oh, really. the Smith kid? You no, know, but Buster Smith. is his name. Yeah, and uh, the, 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 there was a kid who got run over. He got uh, it was a his name was Smith. It was a hit and run, yes, yeah, Smith, and it was a hit and run. And uh, the parent, the family is now claiming that he was killed by Buster because they were in a relationship together. Imagine having a name like Buster. That's his real name. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you know, so if he goes to jail, on. maybe he and Dad can just hang out together. I mean, yeah. really, yeah, Dad, that family's crazy. Why, why didn't the dad kill him, too? Hmm? You get a chance, probably. <laughs> why why did Buster him? end up uh, living and the other one ran died? out of bullets? Can you imagine Friday night dinners in that house? <laughs> what? Can you imagine Friday night dinners with the, the father and the son? <laughs> what are you going to do this weekend? They might kill that person. But you know what? I think I might kill this person. Yeah. I'll see you Sunday. <laughs> can I borrow your gun, Dad? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it can happen after later. I mean, it's a, Tony it's the Undertaker. Sad. People got to be locked up. They just can't be walking the streets. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they doing the oh, Alex, Which president closed all the mental hospitals? I'm, I'm that Reagan. Reagan. That was Reagan. Reagan did a great job with that. With Col let him roam the streets, really. Yeah, right. Right. That was a good move on his part. That was probably really the well, fuck crime and the maniacs and run up. To, that's a stupid thing. To do. It was you probably know, the you know HBLU. You know what I finally figured out? <laughs> California, really. I said this the other day, has become outright biblical. I mean, everything that's happening to it is all the stuff you used to read about as plagues in the Bible. Well, San Francisco is getting bad weather again. I heard it, guys. Did you hear you know, that the San Francisco yeah. got part of a tornado? When do they ever get Los that? Angeles? Well, Los, Los Angeles. Angeles did, but San Francisco did too. Oh, we're, really? We're having some sort of storm. That what? What do they call this storm? Uh, it's called uh, a, 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 a something a, bomb cyclone. Cyclone or? bomb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, raining a lot. Have Trump to draw, go on a board and draw the direction the uh, tornado. There are areas around here that are getting like hundred mile an hour winds. Yeah, well, the no. da down and down and uh, uh, down in uh, L.A. Yeah, you know, they There's got a they, that's, the they, news, they got a tornado. Oh, well, keep crime down. Bad guys don't want to get wet. You're right. They don't want to come out. It's raining out. Does, it, does crime go down when that happens? We I would imagine. I, 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 you know, we have the worst mayor here that I think we've ever had, and we've had some pretty horrible mayors. 
But this guy is like, he's always doing press conferences for like pu pu public things. Like, you know, he likes to go to the Met Gala. You know, that's his idea of being mm -hmm. a mayor. So right. did AOC. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she went. You know, yeah. But that isn't the only thing she does, okay? Anyway, they've just come up with a new thing. And it's very funny. Al Franken's been doing the Daily Show, and he mentioned this. They've come up with a new thing, and he came out for it, the mayor, and also Kathy Hochul, who's our uh, idiot governor as well. Huge uh, man. Yeah. Um, they, they, they came out with uh, a, a new slogan for New York. Remember it was, I love New York? Oh, yeah, I love New York. Big Apple. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's they've changed it. Uh, I wonder when the meeting for this one was held. Uh, no, they've changed it to, we love New York. Who's we? <laughs> And I think it was uh, it was uh, uh, Franken who said it's we as in we can't afford the rent here. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that guy that was running either for mayor or president from New York, uh, and on or, a, or as a we it, it, as in we just pushed you in in the path of a train. Yeah. You know? No, there was a guy running for mayor of New York uh, uh, last the last time, not this time, but the last time. And his platform was the rent's too damn high. Well, he was, oh, yeah. you know, but his his he was the rent's too That's damn right. high party. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta love a guy like that. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, I mean, rent is too damn high. I mean, yeah. rents in New York are ridiculous. I mean, I watch yeah. this guy. His name is Cash Jordan, I think, is his name, and he has a thing on YouTube. If you ever get a chance, you should watch him. He's to begin with, he's very funny. Um, yeah. And he goes to apartments that are up for rent, and then he does videos of them, right? And I, I'm looking at him, and, we, and Marjorie and I are trying to figure out how much you think this one's worth, you know? Really? And I mean, you know, one bedroom apartment, four thousand dollars. <throat> Is huh? that like that guy in New York that asks people, "What do you pay for rent?" And then they tell him, and then he says, "Can I take a tour of your apartment?" And then he goes up and he videotapes and uh, they, you know, they tell him how much they pay. Um, no, uh, no, Barbara and, Corcoran was was on his thing, you know. Uh, she, no, but this uh, this guy is um, he what he is a real estate broker, I think, is yeah. one of the things he does. Uh, but it is very interesting uh, the the places that he goes to. And no, he he usually deals with other realtors who take him to a particular place. Or he gets the keys to a particular place, and he, to begin with, he talks about the neighborhood, and it's just he's very funny, and it's not yeah. forced funny; it's actual, really funny. And his name is Cash Jordan. Look him up on YouTube; very funny stuff. And yeah. and the prices that people are paying for apartments in New York: two bedroom, seven thousand dollars. How about ten room for five hundred? Well, I you know, it's, <laughs> I've heard of that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, but we we're still having trouble trying to get them the the landlords to list us with the DHCR, which is the place you list rents and who's renting the place, to list us as the renter, and to list the rental price as the five hundred dollars and seven cents, and we're just playing hell getting them to do that. You know, so I don't know. Hmm. You know. It just does. The, can you get the court to force him to do that? Uh, well, I think we can actually. Yeah, because the court. Well, the court number one said that's what the rent should be. Okay, mm -hmm. that was the court determination, <laughs> and then they appealed it to the appeal, appeals court, and the appeals court said, uh, "Your appeal's not going through. It goes back to the original court." Okay, so they've got no other place to go. Once you've appealed it, you pretty much you have a few little things you could do, but you know it wouldn't wouldn't work. Okay, yeah. Uh, and um, so I mean they're they're out of options pretty much. And I kept saying to my I wrote my my lawyer and I said these guys are like Trump. They're afraid they they can't stand to admit they lost. You mm. know, and they really haven't been able to say they lost. Well, let's t check in with T-shirts tonight. And of course, there's only one T-shirt that ever matters. English. <laughs> wait, stand English up. is important. But math. 
is important. -er. Important. -er. <laughs> Do you go out in public with those? <laughs> yes, I was at the I was at the grocery store today with it. Do people comment on them? Oh yeah. Yeah. You're very oh, good. Oh look, at it. Uh, Jeff's got uh, uh, Einstein. What Albert is it? Einstein. Albert Einstein. It's a good, nice, nice cartoon of like Einstein. With I wore that on March 14th. Do you know who said I look like oh. Albert Einstein? High and tight, like Linscombe. Uh, oh, the baseball player. Linscombe. Oh, okay. High and tight. Um, do you know who said that I uh, that I look like uh, like uh, what do you say I look like? I look like Einstein. Did you have bushy hair? No. I, I must no. have had bushy hair at the time. I must have had hair at the time. But he said, I look like Einstein. I looked at myself in the mirror and I went, oh, young Einstein, he said, young Einstein. And I looked at myself in the Einstein mirror and I couldn't see it. I just couldn't see it. I was, I was told that by Marcel Marceau. Uh, he, he was very vocal. Yes, he was. He was quite, I did an interview with him. Everybody goes, gee, you got him to talk? Yeah, of course. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> we just had an earthquake. What? Yeah. Just now? Yeah, no, about three, four minutes ago. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Watch. Was it good? Uh, uh, three point four. It was a little one. Uh, ah. You know, I don't feel anything under a five. Yeah. Well, Neither does your girlfriend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but um, boom. Yeah. No. What are you going to do? Uh, you know, they, they, after five, they're too old for me anyway. You know, we've met. Bill, we, Bill has a line. Eight is too late. We've met. Uh, we've met. We've met um, um, uh, Brian's wife. We have on one occasion seen uh, Kevin's wife. Yeah. Uh, we've, of course, You're seen Jeff's wife. Yeah. But we've never seen your, your live-in mate. And oh. I'm beginning to think there isn't one. No, probably not. Uh, you know, let me see. It's his I... hand. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's looking up a picture on the net now. He's going to tell her that's a. Yeah. Thing. Well. Yeah. No, don't give us Stormy Daniels either, just because you paid for. Her. Yeah. Really. He paid for the legal defense. <laughs> yeah. Send his watch. You know? Faye doesn't like to. Yeah. Let's see if I can find a picture of Faye. And, uh... Don't don't make sure it isn't one that's as old as the one you showed me last week. This one's about ten years old. Here we go. Are you with thin? Yeah. Let's see. What? Where? Where is it? Right there. You see. Well, it's hard to see. Some old guy with gray hair is overpowering <laughs> the photo. Hey. There she is. There she is. Yeah, and he took the photo. Uh, and you've been together how long? Uh, seventeen years. Really? Wow. Yeah. That's longer than yeah. you were married, I think. I was married twenty-three. Really? Wow. Yeah. Really? Oh, son of a bitch. That's amazing. Yeah. That's wonderful. But I, I knew better to get married again, you know. Yeah. Then, then to get married again. <laughs> yeah, I've, you know, I've been there once. I'm not going back to that. Well, wait a minute. Now, has she, has Faye ever said to you, I really would like it if we got married? Well, she said no sex without marriage now. <clears throat> That's not a problem. <laughs> since, <laughs> since I had the operation, yeah. it wouldn't have been any sex with marriage. Yeah. Uh, We're oh, talking she, about when you were a baby, the circumcision, that operation. Uh, uh, no, oh, no, no. Oh. Prostectomy. Well, yeah. he, didn't get, the he didn't get circumcised. That would have made it smaller. You know, now, so you know, what they, you know why they do that to Jews? Because it's like trimming a tree. What you do is you trim it a little bit and it grows more. You know? Oh. Hmm. That's that's that's, that's how they do it. That well, I'm point. glad they got me drunk, and uh, yeah, <laughs> that was the last time you were drunk. Well, I mean, I, I I wonder how that affects Jewish males. I mean, emotionally, the the first, one of the first things that happens when they're alive, somebody comes along and nips the ed, end of your penis off. Gotta be like, but no anesthesia. But no oh, anesthesia. No, no, they they, 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 they rub uh, they rub booze on it. No, what they do is yeah. no, they don't rub booze on it. <laughs> What they do is they rub booze <laughs> in you. They actually take a rag, dip it in wine, oh, really? and then have the baby suck on it for a while, and he gets a little what? drunk or shicker, as we call it in oh. in, in Yiddish. Yiddish. Right. And and uh, he gets uh, you know. Th then they do the little whack a mole. 
Yeah. Well, I can honestly say I don't remember a, a thing about it, you know. Really? I just saw the I results. Say, I don't That's because they couldn't find any wine when you were done, so they got an old grease rag. And Listen, put it in there's certain things we never remember. We don't remember being born, do you? No. 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 Yeah. You know? My earliest recollections go back to maybe when I was almost two. Yeah. Mine yeah. go back to about four, I think. Yeah, four or five. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember before, being sick with the measles at five. That's about my I remember my getting chicken pox. I remember, I remember when we moved from Queens to just north of Peekskill, and I'm, that I, was 1956. Yeah. I, was, I was two, and I, I remember crawling in a moving box and tipping it over. They and, were trying to get rid of you. <laughs> and <laughs> one other thing, I remember I had a turtle, and it was in the kitchen mm. of the apartment in Sunnyside, Queens. Sunnyside. Well, I remember almost drowning. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. Wow. In right up in Russian up near Russian River. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. Uh, did your Did your parents push you under, or uh, <laughs> did they just let you naturally go into the? No, into I was. The I just went in the water, and I. I all I remember, Free? to this day, I remember I felt bubbles all over my face. Hmm. Yeah. And see, then Michael Jackson came along, and got the chimp off of my face. <laughs> <laughs> How many times did your mother push you under? Brown. I'm killing it tonight, folks. I'm killing it tonight. <laughs> you know what I was gonna They're huh? all weak. <laughs> what? You know what I was going to say? You know what I wish we had? I told this to my sister. I more? wish I had more home movies, even if it didn't have sound. Because mm -hmm. now I don't remember what certain people's voices sound like. Oh. Mm. You know, I wish they would have did a little more home movies. I, you know, it's, I, I know what you mean. My friend Barry was always walking around with one of those reel-to-reel -reel tape recorders, those small ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said that he had some uh, a recording of my father, but he couldn't find it. And I, you know, I hadn't I, I had yeah, any you. recordings. And, yeah, I, th I thought yeah. you wiped your hand with your rear and then handed him the tape. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, th those things would have been pretty neat. I mean, yeah, yeah, that would have been that would have been neat. Are you talking about the little cassette tapes? Uh, no, the before cassettes, they were like reel to reel, but yeah. they were maybe two. I remember my aunt having it. It looked like diameter. a little projector, like, but they didn't have sound. I remember her having it. Hmm. Yeah, it was like eight millimeter. What good? What good does a reel to reel do you if it has no sound? I know, no, but there was sound. Out. This well, was only shows you the pictures anyway. What, you, what good is it? Well, when Phil was, <laughs> when, the only re recollection they have of Phil are, are cave drawings. So <laughs> <laughs> in France, <laughs> two hairs. That's, on how, that's how they get them in those days. You know, pretty good, pretty good, yeah. Phil. Yeah. Well, you know, it's a kind of wrapping it up here, you know. I mean, uh, been a nice night tonight. Good having you all here. I, I mean, we're not going to get any more views to this show than we're getting for eight minutes with Marjorie and Alex on Facebook. Hey, that was nice. Huh? You like the one today? Yeah. Yeah, we wind up tongue kissing each other on every episode just to make people want to vomit. That'll <laughs> get demonetized. Probably it should be. It should be. Uh, Phil has been with us tonight, folks. Let's all give Phil a big round of applause. Thank you, Phil, for. Yeah. It, it's really <laughs> that not was that. A, that was another joke, right? That, that's not. Nah, it was a pleasure. That was not that enthusiastic on their part. Now the sound of one hand clapping. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and also a big thanks to uh, Alan for being here. Uh, How love, big? Kevin, always wonderful having you here. And uh, 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 Charlie, mm. night. Keep them T-shirts coming. Yeah. Wayne, say something to us. Wayne, your microphone sounds so good. It's a cheap Logitech headset. Probably really? Paid less than yeah, probably fifteen twenty bucks. That's about it. You got what? the microphone next to his mouth. I got the mic right here. Yeah. yeah, it's really good, but it's really good. And uh, thank you, Brian Neary. Always nice. And uh, uh, Tony. Uh, Keep being stupid with those comic books, okay? You know? And then you can take me out to lunch someday. Look, how many you want? I'll you. Jeff, you've been pretty quiet tonight, but, uh, you know, it's been terrific. So I enjoy having you all here. Why don't you all give a big wave yeah, goodbye, and I'll give a big wave mm -hmm. goodbye at you, and we'll call it quits for now. There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel. 
Jack Bishop is next with The Intersection. You can call him on Skype at GabNet Live. Yes, GabNet Live. And we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. Bye.